Hi, Leo. How are you guys? Yeah. <laughs> some people be on some, um, messed up shit right now. I, I feel it. And I had to post on my community page a Gwen Stefani song. I ain't no holla back girl. Yeah, that's Leo. We don't do that as a Leo. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're not in my league. Please leave. This was at the bottom of the deck. You're being fussy as shit as you should be. You're just watching people. You're just watching people. And then, here comes a, here's the king of swords in your verse. This is that person who, um, lying, cheating, yeah, stealing, and lying to your face, manipulative energy, yeah. That's what you're watching with people. You're like, okay, if you're like this, you. I'm watching you like a hawk. Getting stuck in your head. Those type of people. And it was funny. I knew I was supposed to do you next. I called it. Actually, I called it on Facebook first. First card out is the sun card. That's you. Welcome home. However, I feel like some, um, messed up shit's been going on all around you. And the reason why is because you're prancing in happy. Because you, you know who you are. And you know what you're not. And the wheel is here. This is those karmic cycles. With karmic people. In your recent past. You've been holding back. You've been taming yourself. How can a lion tame themselves? You're going to cut loose, though. I see this. I really, really see this. And the reason why I say that, you're going to tell some people some stuff. It was a queen of swords. And all this is in the upright. Y'all know I read in the upright first. The base. Everything is surrounded by this princess of cups. A very immature emotional offer. I don't really think you're seeing it that. I think you're kind of stubborn on some stuff. As you see, there's a pentacle right over his crown chakra. And one across his heart. And both his feet are planted in materialism. Very well could be someone you're dealing with. There's some earth energy here, and the Queen of Pentacles is right next to it. This is a boss bitch. <laughs> this is that ain't no holla back girl. Yeah, you come at me correct, girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I'm moving into victory, girl. Or boy. Or man. <laughs> this is in your near future. However, dude. If you're having to tell somebody off that ain't coming at you correct, because, like I said, the Queen of Swords is here, cutting, because someone's being stupid with immature offers, this is Page of Cups, is all about this karmic stuff. You're still dealing with it, and I know you are, and I can tell you why, because you have the world with the Seven of Cups in your outcome. You're going to be feeling burdened again. All you want is victory. You want to move into victory. And here's that nine of swords. Everything that you're worried about. What These burdens, they worry you. They keep you up at night. This isn't the dark night of the soul card. That's the four of swords. This, this person's choosing to stay up late at night and worry. supposed to drop the burden so that you don't do this anymore. And if 
you're dealing with a karmic, you better get in your element. You better be watching. You need to watch the signs of manipulative people, Leo. I'm telling you. People who manipulate around you, you really need, because they do this to you. They get you caught up in your head. And then you end up four of swords. Right now, I really think that you're re-adjusting um, your values here. Ooh, I'm getting hot on my back. Ooh, it was weird. Interesting. Interesting. I love this. It's like, yeah, you're watching every move he makes. However, yeah, he's got some attachments attached to him. If you would have come out in the upright in this spread, and this is like, he was right underneath the King of Wands, yes. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, which I feel this is your energy. If he's in the upright, it, he's got angels around him. But he was in reverse. That tells me something. Other <laughs> attachments are around him. And you see it now. Or well, you're going to get clarity on it. And I think that's, you're like, okay, that makes sense now. Even though it wasn't making sense to you earlier. It does now. Oh, yeah. You know, let me show you your, your outcome. <laughs> Got the, the world card, ending cycles, which this you should have been doing. Anybody who you were dealing with before this full moon last week, a week ago. Anybody you were dealing with. Hey, tie this. Very well could have been karmic people. That now spirit's switching stuff up. And now you're confused. Because I think that in your near future here for June. Like, I'm so fucking confused. I thought this was correct. And here I am looking at all these options now because, well, that came to light. This is dead center. That came to light. This person might cut you off. Or you cut them off. Right, this is happening now. And that might be what's bothering you. Because you wanted to move into victory with somebody. But there's a lot of burdens all around it. So, yeah, be here and download. You're going to be getting more downloads on the truth. Here comes the world card. Closing those cycles. And it's confusing you. Because you expected victory with this person and um spirit saying healing first and where you're glowing up you got options multiple to close the cycles new old karmic cycles that very well could be too like you're realizing you have to drop people and that might hurt you because you don't want to hurt anyone else i get that but you're leo you don't need anybody else. You've got yourself and you're stable. Firm foundation. Yeah. And this is interesting because this is this is fixed energy. You could have been dealing with another well, you could have been dealing with another Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, or Taurus. Or you could have that in your chart heavy. You're like, ah. Oh. This very well could be identity crisis, too. Like, you're stuck firm in who you think you are instead of who you, know, who you actually are. And you're closed off to dropping stuff, moving, doing what you need to do if spirit tells you to do something. Yeah. There's a Virgo card. That's going in. I didn't even start clarifying yet. Sorry, guys. Oh, there's temperance. Balance. Patience and balance is what you're looking for. Think in yourself, though. There you are again, the sun. Look. Sagittarius. Uh, you might want to ask Jupiter for help. I know he's in retrograde, but he could probably help close these cycles and, and actually have fun doing it. You know? Knight of Pentacles. 
slow moving offer in gestation that's stable that's coming in you're already in king and queen status like you're cutting bitches and asking questions later i feel yeah there's a knight of wands okay someone's choosing to not be um in and out energy anymore i think there you go leo you acted like this in the past? I really think that you're that... Probably knew, yeah. Or you had somebody doing this to you. But I really feel like there were some Leos out there that might have been a little playboyish, but you're changing that, and congrats on that. And a Knight of Pentacles comes flipping out again with the sun. Yep, there's an offer coming in. There's... Definitely an offer coming in, Leo. Or you could be making a offer. It's slow moving to possibly a Queen of Swords. Right next to the Queen of Swords. Who is already in her power? All right. You very well could have fire, air, earth in your, in your chart. The Wheel of Fortune. And the Wheel of Fortune. Son of a gun. Oh, multiple cycles. Definite, definite, definite. The wheel is turned in your favor in your recent past. Definite. You put in the work. Nine of Cups. Four of Pentacles. Spirit has been giving you downloads. You've been hearing things. You've been feeling things. You've been sensing. These are like extra... Very well could be gifts given to you and your law of attraction stuff. <sighs> oh, Leo. Chariot, Queen of Swords. Movement. I don't want to see or I don't want to hear what you have to say. Show me. This very well could be what you're um, saying to somebody. I don't want to hear your um, bitch-ass talk. Show me the money, honey. Smooth talker. Yeah, you'll be a walker. This, Like I said, this is fast communication. Fast movement. Princess of Cups. This is in you right now. This is happening... Right now, as you watch this, oh, 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 Princess of Cups, Prince of, with the Queen of Pentacles, either you or somebody else, is actually underneath a page and you think they're a queen, or you're hoping that they turn into a queen. There's another one that's pulled out here too, let's see what it is. Queen of Pentacles, right above the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, Three of Swords. Leo. Are you ready for this? Hmm? Are you really ready for this? Because you, you've been asking for huge, big things, and Spirit's like, all right, well, you're going to have to move, and you're going to have to speak out your truth. No more staying quiet about how you feel. Make that offer. Or somebody made an offer to you. Who is a queen. Royalty. Queen of Pentacles. Right underneath it. In the base. And this clarified it. Either, um... They broke your heart or you broke theirs at one point. That's earth energy. Could have been in Taurus season. Shit could be really moving forward in Cancer season. Like, I legit see out of control. Shit getting out of control. But it's because you double close cycles. You didn't just close cycles. Like, it's doubly closed. <laughs> there ain't no going back. Ain't going back, girl. <laughs> oh, my God. 
Leo, what you want is victory. I get it, and that's also your card. The Six of Wands is your card, too. Well, to, f to have victory, Spirit is telling you, keep it moving. Keep it moving, please. This is Aquarius energy. Detaching. Following, um, follow the yellow brick road. Oh my. You know what? I'm sorry. I've been getting songs like crazy and I feel like they have to come out. So if I sing, then I do. <laughs> oh, Leo, Leo. Look, your base is Ten of Wands. Like, this has been, I think, when you figure out whatever's going on here in your right now position with this page of cups very well could be a mother figure or a mama or a boss broke your heart wow look I, you're feeling the burden from that if you screwed someone over karma very well could be coming back here too and you're going to figure it out I think you're going to make you will make things right I think the spirit might be showing you Need to make an apology, maybe? I don't know. But, yeah. Like I said, movement. You're moving off your butt now. Because you're no longer stuck. This is Pisces energy. She, that's a fucking burden for you. So you're, you're making up your mind. This is the juggler card. This is the what do I do card. Spirit saying make up your mind. Make it up, make it up, make it up right now. Make it up, make it up, make it up right now. Because look at the world. You have the Ten of Cups for your outcome. If you figured this whole thing out and you walk away from unstable, immature offers that broke your heart in the past, and I'm talking past like recent past, closing cycles. And then here's a reoccurring card. Ten of burdens, I call them. Ten of wands. Yeah. Because you had so many offers and so many options in the past that it was like, I think karma came back and bit you in the ass for that. I don't know. Or, the, or the, this could be in reverse. Look. There's going to be other offers coming in. Opportunity. And spirit's actually still healing you. So, this is also Aquarius energy. You're, and it's going to glow up. Look, the three of, three of cups in your verse. Yeah. Um, third party shit. Emotional stability. I'm praying for this. Balance, harmony. What's at the bottom of that deck? Oh, look. Oh, shit. <laughs> Judgment. Wow. Well, Leo, you guys are, um, come moving on up, moving on up to the side. Yeah. I finally got my piece of the pie. <laughs> With the world card and judgment, it's over. Oh, 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 and underneath that, yeah, King of Swords in reverse again. Yeah, you're done. Uh huh. Manipulators, karmic contracts, done. Congratulations. You figured it out. And you're making up your mind. Double wheel, really? I love it. Congratulations, Leo. You got the angels now and back you up. Anybody comes at you manipulative? Oh, yeah, that. You're gonna let him have it. And seek and destroy. Yeah. Any page of cups because she was under here too. Again, it comes at you. I love you guys. 
This is like 20 minutes long. You guys take care. Catch you on the flip. June 2019. Straight out of central Pennsylvania. I love you. Bye.